एवरीवन वेलकम टू द अपडेट ऑफ सेवनटीन ऑफ जून फर्स्ट अ क्विक अपडेट दट टू वीडियोज आई रिलीज ओवर द वीकेंड संडे नाइट आर डूइंग प्रिडी वेल इन दीज टू वीडियोज आई टॉक अबाउट टेन रीजन वाई स्टॉक मार्केट कुड फॉल इन द नियर फ्यूचर बाय द टाइम यू वॉच दिस वीडियो द कंबाइंड व्यूज फॉर दोज टू वीडियोज विल प्रॉब्ली क्रॉस टेन थाउजेंड विच इज अ ग्रेट नंबर फॉर अ स्टार्टअप चैनल वन अपडेट फ्रॉम यू एस ऑल टॉप थ्री कंपनीज माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एप्पल एंड मीडिया If you round, then all three of them are at 3.3 trillion dollars. There is a neck-to-neck -neck competition right now in the top three. Now probably the race is for 4 trillion dollars. Exigo's IPO went live today. Fantastic debut. The ball was hit out of the park. I'll just take one minute to describe how this price is arrived at. If you are not aware, between 9:45 and 9:55 is the time when the price for the new IPO is derived. Exigo was around this price of 135. This price is taken as a cutoff for the current day. The upper circuit is twenty percent above. The lower circuit is twenty percent below. As soon as the discovery was done, the stock went up continuously. Around one o'clock, it hit the upper circuit, which was one sixty-five. After that, the stock didn't come down at all. There were zero volumes. No one was willing to sell beyond this point. This indicates that tomorrow also the stock may run up. maybe not an upper circuit but probably it may touch 180 levels the data does not indicate that the stock will fall tomorrow at least update on the automation project i am working on all 12 graphs are now functional the top 9 stocks in the index as well as nifty 50 bank nifty nifty wix all 12 trends available in one window now one ambitious project which i am trying to do right now is see if this trend in the day can predict where nifty 50 is heading and rfii is buying today or selling just for example sake let's say reliance has a weightage of 3 tcs hdfc have a weightage of 222 the other stocks may be are 111 this is just an approximation now based upon the price movement we can say whether the stock for example at this point in the day reliance is up a lot so a 2 icici is up a lot 2 infosys is not up at all it is zero just some values tcs down a bit maybe airtel down a bit hul zero so idea is basically that based upon these numbers we can arrive at a score say plus 4 or maybe minus 3 on a bad day this score is an indicator of buying happening at least in the nifty 50 and fi is also are more active in certain stocks for example maybe reliance hdfc icici so these sub scores could indicate fii actions to some extent this concept is at a very nascent stage since data is available we can even create algorithms around it in future back to the markets nifty again seems like a range how it was up another half percent nearly 0.4% to be precise closed firmly above 23558 bank nifty closed above 46200 0.45% up for bank nifty nifty it minor correction fis di is both bought today if these numbers remain positive then nifty will remain in the positive territory energy index was up a lot been close to 6 7 8 days now since nifty energy has been up it index was down tcs took it down 0.3% infosys was up but the weight of infosys is lower now reliance was up but a little hdfc bank was up 0.7% icici 1.8% these two took the bank index up half percent sbi also was a 0.7% but the weight is slightly lower gold did not do much 71500 silver down a bit brand slightly up most of the cryptos have corrected significantly over the weekend in last 2 3 days bitcoin was hovering around 67 68000 during the last update 3 days back it is right now around 65000 wix started with a very big gap up and then came down gradually but overall for the day minor uptick 1.68% up i have a very interesting new snapshot today i'll cover it after the sector snapshot today's hero yet again was aerospace and defense it has been up every day since the 4th of june crash in fact there is a very interesting data point today there are about six sectors that have been up daily since the 4th of june crash aerospace and defense real estate oil and gas hotels household goods fleet and logistics then there are some more which are nine banking transport diversified industrial which is ani enterprises telecom home building investment banks in this bull run there are some laggards also coal holding companies food and tobacco metals personal and household products integrated hardware and software which is primarily tata technologies besides aerospace and defense banking was up food and drug retailing the power pack let's go through the key sectors aerospace and defense 
एच एल अप अनदर सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट बी एल टू पॉइंट एट परसेंट मजगांव डॉक एंड जी आर एस सी आर इन नो मोड टू स्टॉप बोथ ऑफ देम वर अप सिग्निफिकेंटली मजगांव डॉक एट परसेंट गार्डन रीच थर्टीन परसेंट आई डोंट ट्रैक पारस डिफेंस बट इट वॉज अप ट्वेंटी परसेंट अपर सर्किट द सेक्टर डिस्पाइट अ रन अप फॉर टेन कंटिन्यूस डेज वॉज अप फाइव पॉइंट फाइव परसेंट टूडे ऑल्सो ऑटोमोबिल्स मारुति करेक्टेड अ बिट सो डिड टाटा मोटर्स बट रेस्ट ऑल स्टॉक्स आर नियरली एट फिफ्टी टू वीक हाइज बैंकिंग आईसीआईसी इज गेटिंग बेटर एस बी आई इज गेटिंग बेटर द सेक्टर वॉज अप पॉइंट सेवन फाइव परसेंट टूडे अदानी एंटरप्राइज इज अप स्लाइटली बट स्टिल अवे फ्रॉम द फिफ्टी टू वीक हाई द पावर पैक लेड बाय पावर ग्रिड एंड जे एस डब्ल्यू एनर्जी वॉज अप वन परसेंट डी मार्ट अप सिक्स परसेंट दैट्स अ बिग स्टॉक थ्री लैक करोर्स द कंजम्पन पैक डिड नॉट गो एनी वेयर दिस सेक्टर इज नॉट डूइंग वेल सिंस आई रिजल्ट केम आउट Investment banking is a sector to watch out for in the near future if the Nifty remains high. This sector is a beneficiary of HNI's investing significant money in the stock exchanges. Machinery and equipment for some reason Cochin Shipyard is listed here that was up 10% but Siemens and ABB corrected a bit. Metals was red nothing big happening in oil and gas today. Pharma also mostly down. Real estate up yet again. Software TCS was down rest everything was up. This is an interesting view of Nifty 50. these are the sectors in which nifty 50 stocks are divided overall 50 stocks most stocks are in the banking sector followed by automobiles and it there is no stock currently in the 0 to 10% or 10 to 20% window this is proximity to 52 week low three stocks are in the 20 to 30% zone chemicals is asian paints food and tobacco is itc soft and it services lti mindtree similarly in the 30 to 40% zone there is one bank that's kotak mahindra insurance in this zone is hdfc life but the maximum concentration is in the 80 to 100% zone 28 out of 50 stocks auto 6 out of 6 stocks are in the 80 to 100% zone the top 80% banking only 4 out of 9 stocks are 80% or above the only chemical stock asian paints is down in the dumps coal india is in the 80 to 90% zone construction engineering is lnt that's in 80 to 90% zone Construction materials is the cement twins. They are in the ninety to hundred percent zones. Diversified industrial is Rani Enterprises seventy to eighty. Electrical utilities and IPPs. These would be power grid and NTPC mostly. So basically, this table will give you a very good idea of where the current spending is going on in the stock markets. And if you are a swing trader or short term investor, then where to invest? Probably this table may have some answers. If you found this table useful, do let me know in the comments so I can so that I can continue showing it in the daily updates. Nifty 50 today biggest contribution came from ICICI Bank followed by Power Grid HDFC Bank Wipro Adani Enterprises good to see Adani Enterprises up what was dragging the index down Maruti TCS Ultratech ITC Tata Motors volumes for the stocks that were up a lot or down a lot were high but still the volumes in general were around 40 to 50% the participation at all time highs has started reducing overall 15 stocks down 35 up the top companies are now changing shriram finance was up most followed by power grid wipro titan icici adani enterprises next 50 23 stocks down 27 up hl and hl and dmart led the pack followed by shriram finance madarsan sumi bosch zydas jindal steel abb dabar tvs motors they were all dragging the index down Volumes were low, below hundred percent for most stocks, around fifty to sixty percent in general. Twenty-one stocks in the ninety-one to hundred percent zone, twelve in the eighty to hundred percent zone. TCS was down in the IT index, rest all were up. Wipro up most three percent. Energy pack minor correction in IOC, rest all were up. Banking public sector banks were under pressure today. SBI was up a bit though, but the private sector banks were doing pretty well. Volumes were again low. Besides IDFC, everyone had less than hundred percent volumes. My trades today, I bought BL, GRSE, Mazgaon Doc, LTTEC. All of them I bought again, mostly for trading purposes. One or two days maybe. How did Nifty do today? Nifty again opened with a gap up. Immediately came down. This has been the trend for last four or five days. Then it went up, came down, consolidated in a range. This was a just twenty five point range for most of the day. Towards the end of day, it went up, closed 0.4 percent high. For traders, there is actually not much these days happening for the most of the day. Based upon that trend, I've purchased five lots in the money 23400 call options. 
slight profit tomorrow but the idea is to test the theory that tomorrow will the markets open up if that's the case i'll probably exit within the first 2 3 minutes the strategy in place for 20th june short position it is doing fine right now the projected profit is 14500 6% in about a week's time now the strategy could come in for some challenges tomorrow if the market remains very high or crosses 23600 may have to sell this off or maybe do a bit of rescue if the market remains significantly high overall since the markets are remaining up most of the time it is getting very tricky to trade most people are preferring to be on the long side but you can't make money all the time in this manner if the markets were to go up continuously next one week two week three week then 80 90% people will make money that never happens so considering that it is getting tricky to trade up as well as trade down i sold off for example the defense stocks some of them in my positions most of them are up nearly 50% since i sold so it feels terrible also if you book your profits or exit and then the stock literally goes up like this so based upon these trends where the markets may remain a bit high because of two reasons one is retail participation continuously pumping in new money and second is government actions most of them will take the markets up for example the budgets or lowering of tax rates i'm coming up with a strategy of booking profit or managing your profits let me give you a quick peek into it this is a data for varun beverages since 1st of february 23 the idea is that we start with an investment of 1 lakh 20000 1 lakh is invested into the stock 20000 is kept in cash then there is a logic that if the stock goes up say to 1 lakh 5000 then you book profits a bit of it if the stock falls down then you invest a bit more to restore back to the levels of 1 lakh i extrapolated this data till friday what came out was that if i had deployed this strategy since 1st of february 23 1 lakh 20000 would have become 2 lakh 12000 now this strategy if it is useful can also be turned into an algorithm for trading i'll test this strategy over four or five stocks and then release as a video in few days time this strategy can be very useful for certain stocks that you want to own till the long term but you also want to book a bit of profits without taking the risk of missing out on a possible rally hope you are making good money in the markets these days thanks for watching this video i'll see you tomorrow